41 dollars two trips one cancellation it is wednesday but we just need to make another hundred dollars and we meet our minimum my friends it is almost 10 o'clock in the morning i've been driving for five hours this is when i say I make $9 an hour, but look, we gotta stay happy, we gotta stay positive, why? Because we're able to drive and we're able to provide for our families and we gotta be happy, it is okay. Now I need to make a decision, which way should I go? I just came from Ontario Airport, which is right up here, right? I am right over here. Now, here's the decision, there's no passengers over here. When I go this way, like, like literally there's nothing over here, and then it picks up over here. Okay, so I have to decide do I want to go back to Ontario? Um, do I want to go this way? Or do I want to go that way? We definitely don't want to go this way, right? Unless someone passenger pays me. First thing to note is I was driving with all options on. I do that on Wednesdays because, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? So literally, I have everything on. Everything on right now because it is that slow. Now, what would you do? That's my question to you. If you are a professional, and you're out here, what would you do? Which way would you go? Because I've only made 40 bucks. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Hey, hey, we'll take that shit. Come on, where are you taking me? Southwest Airlines, Long Beach Airport. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Did you guys see that? I clicked on that little punk, right? That, that was a tease there. Uber, Uber, that's not nice. It popped up. I click yes. But that means there's somebody else out here, right? There has to be somebody else out here. I didn't even wait that long, but it's okay. Look, what would you guys do? That's my first question to you. Let me hide my face again. And don't get disheartened, okay? $38 would have been nice, right? Oh, another one. Holy shit. Union Station. Oh my God, this one's nasty. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I think maybe that last $38 ride, Uber just gave me a carrot just to see. Oh my God. That's two in a row. Holy shit, that doesn't make any sense. Two rides popped in a row and two rides went to two other drivers. That means there's more drivers over here. That, that means there's a lot of drivers over here. What are the odds of that? Okay, we're not gonna let it dishearten us, right? It is what it is. It would be nice. Who knows, we might get lucky. Maybe there's like a $50, $60, $70 ride here. A part of me thinks like if two rides popped up like that, maybe this is a hot spot, right? Or Uber's just messing with me. Uber's just kind of giving me a hard time. It's starting to mess with my emotions and feelings, right? Anyways, we're gonna go back. We're gonna decide what to do. So, I don't know what to do. I think Ontario Airport is a good option. I think going this way is a good option because I can end up at John Wayne Airport. I definitely don't wanna go this way, right? I don't think there's that much money going this way, right? This is showing a cloud. Uh, but I don't want to drive that way. I don't always have luck. I think there's a lot of drivers over there, right? Now, my question to you is what would you guys do in this situation? What would you do? Because I'm thinking about what I'm going to do right now. What would you do? If you're a professional, you drive in Los Angeles, help a brother out, dude. I'm trying to help everybody on my YouTube channel, but sometimes I need your comments to help me out too. What would you do? It's Wednesday. 10 o'clock in the morning, we made $41 on two trips. I started driving around five in the morning. I think I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna go over this way. I'm gonna put in John Wayne Airport. John Wayne Airport, let's see how far away it is. Yeah, I'm gonna relocate myself and I'm gonna bite that $28 and I'm gonna hope I get lucky when I go that way. I'm gonna hope I get lucky that way because I'm thinking it, if I get to John Wayne by 10 30 10 45 uh, I might be able to pick up somebody over there and I am gonna lose money going that way because $28 in gas is at least seven dollars coming out of my pocket this is good news for me because um, the traffic right there and then this is good news for me because of traffic right there traffic means is possibilities I might be able to pick up somebody now the other option is if I don't go that way, the other option would be this. Watch. Let's put in Ontario. See how far Ontario is. O N T. See, the thing with Ontario is it's not that far. It's closer. But I was already there for two hours waiting. 
Because, okay, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go towards Ontario, and I'll tell you why. Because it's 10 miles closer, and from Ontario, there's a chance I might end up going back towards my house, and I don't have to go to LA, and then I'll just drive local, right? So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do, because going to John Wayne is 28 miles, which means it's 10 more miles, it's gonna cost me a little bit more on, more on gas, then I'm stuck over there, right? And then at night, I might get lucky, I might come back, but if I go towards Ontario Airport, I might get a ride back towards where I live, which is Cherry Valley Lakes. Let me show you. Cherry Valley Lakes is out this way, okay? I live out, oh, I live out this way, right? And I'm hoping that from Ontario, I get a ride going that way, then I'll go home a little bit early and then just drive locally. And yes, the 10 miles that I'm trying to save, it is important for me. But I'll let you know if something pops up, my friends. Okay, we are 20 minutes away, but I gotta put gas in my car, and I'm gonna put app and time out for a little bit, see if something stirs up, and I keep rinsing and repeating what I'm teaching you guys today, right? On a slow day, we still put the Uber driver app in time out. And on the left, I'm literally catching up on my comments, right? Uh, 19 hours ago is where I left off. Somebody in the last 30 minutes left another comment. I have to read it. This is the seventh video um, that I just put up, how I would drive uh, Uber in the valley. So this is kind of cool. Um, I think that's gonna be a good video because I was just drawing on the map. VP Racing Norco. And put in some more gas. I think I've spent $40 today. Let me add this up. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. So if I put in $40 of gas, I've made $40. I basically have made how much money? $1, baby. 97 cents. I still made... Oh, no. I probably didn't. I think I'm minus a dollar because if you add up the, the change in the gas, shit. All right. Uber's out of timeout. Let's see if anything pops up. If not, we're going to get started. We're going to drive. And we're gonna head back to Ontario Airport. Here we go, here we go, baby. Okay, I am close to Ontario Airport. And I think it was the right call. Um, 11, 12 o'clock is when flights come in. Oh, 11, 12 o'clock is when flights come in. I'm gonna take a screenshot. I got here at 10.30. I think within an hour I should be able to move and possibly get a bigger opportunity than this morning. First opportunity. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to look at it because I'm driving. That's dangerous Uber, dangerous, bad Uber. If you look up here, this is where I'm at. This is where the lot is, but you don't have to wait there. You can literally go anywhere, park wherever you like. What I like to do is, where's Vineyard? Yeah, there it is. What I like to do is there's a Starbucks right here. Sometimes I go there. And uh, sometimes there's a Circle K out here somewhere. I go there, Jack in the Box, um, just kind of mix it up. There's also another uh, uh, hotel next to the convention center. Sometimes I go there and hang out and chill, meaning at Ontario Airport, you don't have to go here. If you go here, you're gonna realize something. Uh, there's no internet for T-Mobile people and you'll just sit there for five hours. Now, I learned that the hard way. You're learning it the easy way. If you're out here and you're driving near Ontario Airport, do not go and park where it says Ontario waiting bum lot. I'm still moving. I'm getting closer to where I want to park and UberX has gone through 15 people. So that means a flight landed. Good news. $18 to San Bernardino will take it. It meets my minimum and I don't have to wait at the airport. Oh, look at that. Somebody else got it. Man. Oh, man. There's a lot of, a lot of hungry, a lot of hungry drivers out here today. So the timing is good. If you look on the bottom, you will notice uh, Uber X is at 26. Oh, what you got? Multiple stops. For, I'm not even going to talk about this. Sometimes multiple stops is good because you can drop somebody and in the wait time you get paid, but not for nine bucks. Okay, this is good news. Good news, I made the right decision. It's crying, right? When it's crying like this, I came at the right place. Uh, all the other drivers are cherry picking and um, 
I, it's right place. Look at that flight landed. See, look. Um, as if, you, if you've been watching this video, as I was coming, I just got to where I park. Right, I'm at 76. I'm gonna get some more coffee, uh, go to the bathroom. But I can't even go to the bathroom. I can't even do anything. Actually, I have to take my phone with me in my hand because look, it's gone half from wh where it was when I started recording. Um, that I'm gonna be at Ontario Airport. Comfort has gone down. Uber Excel hasn't moved. But that's okay, I'm an Excel driver. I prefer to get an Uber Excel ride, right? But here, I think the decision to come to Ontario was better than going to John Wayne Airport, but we'll find out. I brought my phone inside, Circle K. Getting coffee, check it out. I've gotta mix it up. It can't be having a video of me just sitting in the car all day. All right, you gotta check out uh, Tippy and the. I app. don't want to be an employee of Uber and Lyft. Hi, my name is Levi, and this is the Daily Drive. Guys, check out the Daily Drive. Okay, this is one of my favorite podcasts to listen to every day. I'm not taking anything away from the other guys, but his videos, his intros, his messages, clean. And I learned about some app that he's saying we can download. He's actually going to talk about it where we can actually, you know, 10 to 2 when it's slow, we can uh, deliver auto parts. Watch, it's going to come up right now. Today's daily drive is brought to you by Tonquin. With Tonquin, you deliver car parts to car repair shops. It works just like every other gig app. It's a great company with great rates. Now I'm going to download it. <laughs> and honestly, the best way to download it is by giving him credit by clicking on his link. You click on his link, he gets credit for it. And, uh, and this is how I like to help other drivers out. We're all hustling. We're all doing the same thing out here. Oh, man, I was trying to sign up, but looks like I can't. I don't see anything for California. There you go, well, update for you guys. Guys, we can't do this in California yet. You can do it in Chicago, you can do it in Florida, you can do it in Texas. You cannot do this, uh, unfortunately, in California. So there's news for you guys right there. Bummer, 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 bummer. Okay, being very efficient with my time, I have responded to all the comments on one of my YouTube channels. Now I have to go and get caught up with people that have already... Oh, that's not too bad. I got four more new responses from old videos. And this is called engagement, my friends. When you engage with your audience and you respond, they respond. Um, the algorithm likes that, right? YouTube algorithm, not Uber algorithm. Okay, this is an important comment that can help other people out. Not the part where he says... Uh, Tor Sen is full of shit. Ignore that. Basically, I was asking somebody on my YouTube channel, yo, um, I need to get back on Lyft platform. And he said, basically, what I need to do is write a letter of intent to sue and send it to the corporate office. They will address the issue that way. They don't want to be sued, but the letter is the first requirement to file in small claims. The courts want to see that you try to rectify the matter prior to suing you can find many template letters on the internet for free so i'm letting you guys know this video is turning out to be a little bit long but that is okay we're going to upload it hopefully you learned something and if you watch my videos till the end please like comment and subscribe because i only ask you at the end i want people to get good value see what my lifestyle is like and just let you know look uber's a little slow today right like, if you look over here, I'm almost up. I've made 40 bucks, but that is okay. Our spirits are up. We keep trying because eventually you might pop that cherry. And when you pop that cherry, guess what? You're going to meet your minimum of $150. I got about $109 to go still, and it's 11 o'clock. That means I've been driving from five, about six hours. Woo! I think I'm at $8 an hour right now. But remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I have to say. And if you learned something, if you gained some value, if I wasted your time and you came all the way at the end, well, let me know in the comments. That way I can, you know, improve my videos. 
because you're my audience you're the most important person for me whether you're a new driver or an old driver just let me know in the comments okay